Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is an iframe and how to handle it using Selenium web driver? Let me answer. First of all, what exactly is an iframe? iframe is one of the html tags okay html stands for hypertext markup language which is a language used for creating the web pages by developers in that html language there will be different markup tags okay for paragraph we have p tag for images we have img tag like that different uh, web elements on the web pages will have different html tags as per this html language and iframe is one of the tag for iframe purpose, okay? If you want to create a web element on the web page as an iframe, then we have to use the iframe tag in HTML. I'll practically show you everything. Just wait for a while, okay? So what is the purpose of this iframe tag in this HTML language? Using iframe tag in a single page, we can embed any number of web pages, okay? We can create any number of iframes in a web page and in that web page, you can embed different web pages either from the same website or from a different website okay if that is a load and all those stuff okay so i will practically show you how to you know uh, write some html code and use this iframe tag to embed the web pages inside in a single web page okay for that i'll show you so what i'm going to do here is uh, let's say i'll take one page guys in a page i'll try to embed other pages from different websites. You can also do from the same website also, but like this, uh, this is one website, this is another website page, this is another website page, I'll do, but you can also do from the same website, different pages also, okay? In a single page, you are embedding different multiple pages. That means in a single view, you are able to see multiple pages, okay? So this is possible with the help of iframe tags in HTML. So for that, I'll first uh, go to the downloads. In the downloads, uh, I'll just clear out everything, okay? And freshly, you know, I'll create some, some text document. I'll simply name it as uh, iframes, iframes demo, okay? Like this iframes demo, I'll just name it. .txt file only for now. I'll open it. It will open as a text document. I think it's opened only once, right? Yeah, fine. Now here, I'll start writing the HTML code, HTML. Uh, just I'll increase the font. So that you can see. So slash HTML. And inside this HTML, I'll write head, head tag, slash head. And similarly, I'll write body tags, body child, child tags, slash body. So this uh, I'm doing this uh, for you guys to understand what exactly is an iframe. Okay. First, I'll write, uh, I'll just give a title here. I'll say title, title iframes demo by Arun, okay? Like, title. like this, I'll give it title. Then the body tag, okay? The body tag, I'll just write some text, okay? So by default, uh, I'm, not, I'm not using any iframes anyhow. Only one page will come initially. So this is some sample text, like this I'm typing. I'm not using any iframes or something here. For now, let me save it. Save as, select save as, and the same location. You can go with, you can save this file at any location, guys, okay? So I'm using downloads because it's kind of clean in my machine. I'll remove the .txt extension and just save it as .html extension. And here also save as, type as all files, and click on save. Now, if you see here, an HTML file will be created, .html file, it will be recognized by browser if it's not recognized in your machine. Simply right click and say open with and select any browser that you want. For example, I will select uh, Google Chrome. It will open in the Google Chrome browser. Okay. It will open in the, you see, this is some sample text is coming. Google Chrome browser, this is some sample text is coming. That's fine. So this is the thing. And you are also getting the title, iframes demo by Arun. Whatever the title I gave here in the text, you see, iframes demo by Arun is coming on the title of this uh, page. Okay. And this is the text coming here. Now, in place of this text, I would like to embed some web pages, okay? So multiple web pages I would like to embed. I'll remove the text and in place of that, I'll write iframe tag, iframe slash iframe, okay? So do something SRC, I guess, uh, if I remember. 
and uh, just give some URL of any web page. For example, I would like to embed uh, my website, webfox.com. Uh, Copy this website URL and paste it here. Okay, let's see whether what's happening first of all. Save this and uh, refresh this page. Okay, refresh. Remove this uh, now and uh, refresh this page and see whether uh, qfox.com is getting embedded here or not. It's getting embedded, but the problem is the height and width of this iframe is not good. So I'll just go back to the text document and uh, you know I'll just change the height and uh, width of this. So I'll just add some uh, extra attributes. Height, let me reduce the size. Height, uh, I'll give that height as uh, it's a 700 and weight as uh, let's say some 300. Let's see what will happen with this. Now save this. I'll just reduce this. I think you can see. Again, go here and refresh this time. The height got changed. You got the appropriate height. 700 uh, pixels is the height and width is 300. I can. You can increase the width if you want 350 or something. So that uh, you can, it looks good. Refresh, you see 350 is like this. Okay, you can see the page properly now. And similarly, you can embed a, this is another website page that I'm embedding in the single page. Like this, multiple website pages you can embed in a single page. So I'll do one thing, one more, uh, I'll copy paste. Instead of typing and wasting your time, I'll copy paste the iframe again. And I'll just change the value of this SRC. I'll keep the height and width as it is. And I'll take another website. Let's say this time I'll take omai.blogspot.com. So I'll just copy this and uh, paste it here. Now let's see what will happen. I'll save, come back here, refresh. Now you've got two iframes. With the help of iframes, you are able to embed the other website pages or same website pages in the single page. In a single page, you are able to embed multiple web pages. These web pages, again, I'm repeating, can belong to the same website or different website. Up to you, okay? The region can be taken by you. I'll show you one example where uh, the same website page is being embedded uh, in real time. No need to worry much. So here, one more website page. Let me embed a few more uh, websites or website pages inside the same page. This time, I'll take... Uh, Selenium by Arun. Selenium by Arun website uh, blog. This is the website. Copy this URL. Come back here and uh, just change, paste it here. That's it. And one more thing, I'll take Selenium one four three three dot dot com. Copy this and paste it here. That's it. Now save this and see what's happening. Once you save it uh, and close it, just refresh here. You see, you got four website pages embedded in a single web page. This is all possible with the help of HTML tag known as iframe. Hope you are able to see the iframe, right? These are the iframes. So now you understood uh, what is an iframe. Okay, if someone asks you what is an iframe, you can say that iframe is one of the HTML tags uh, whose purpose is to embed another uh, HTML page inside a single HTML page. Okay. Uh, one or multiple HTML pages can be embedded in a single HTML page with the help of iframes. And it is an HTML tag. That's the answer, straightforward answer. But now the other question arrives is how to handle it using Selenium WebDriver, how to automate or handle using Selenium WebDriver, I have to demonstrate. Before that, I told you, right, uh, one of the website having an iframe and it's not using the, it's not embedding the website page of a different website, rather from the same website, another page is being embedded. So the simple classic example is W3 schools. So I'll just open the browser and uh, take you to the W3 schools, something. Let's see. And uh, go to the tutorials and uh, select HTML here otherwise. And go to one of the thing and say, try it yourself. One of the page and say, try it yourself. Here, if you clearly observe this page, guys. Okay, this has two sections, right? Uh, this section, this section, this section. And right click here, you see this is a frame, okay? You see, whatever the changes you are doing here, page title, Arun, I'll say means, and uh, click on run means the result is coming. I think this is a title, right? Title you cannot see. Maybe it is a heading, Arun, I'll say. Run this, you see, this is a heading, Arun is coming. Whatever the changes I'm doing here, the result is coming here. So cleverly what W3 schools have done is, uh, whatever the changes you are doing, the result they want to show in the same page. So for that reason, this is this is the same page. This, this section is part of the same page, but uh, this one is another web page inside the same website where the result outcome of this HTML code is coming. So what they did is uh, to make us, uh, you know, 
things sophisticated and uh, help us in uh, checking the result in the same web page. They have embedded the result page in the same page. This page belongs to the same W3 schools. This page belongs to the same W3 schools. Okay. But here iframe is being used to embed another web page of the same website in the same page, single page. Okay. Hope you got the example of you can either embed the web page of a different website or same website. Okay. Depending on your needs. Now I'm going to practically demonstrate how to automate this iframes with the help of Selenium web driver. For automation purpose, I'll take one example website page that is a uh, internet. Heroku app. Okay, I'll just go to this internet Heroku app and I'll get this uh, first result. The internet you just click on. After that, you scroll down and uh, click on some frames related uh, link will be there somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is the one. And here we have iframe. I'll just click on this iframe. This is an example of an iframe. So, what I just want to do with Selenium is I would like to clear this particular text and uh, in place of this, I would like to type my name Arun Motori here. Okay, that is the requirement. How to do that? Very simple, right? Looks very simple when I see the page. So for that, I'll open the Eclipse ID. Let's wait for the Eclipse ID to launch. As you can see, the Eclipse ID has been launched and uh, here we already have some sample Selenium automation code for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser. And here we need to open the application URL. The application URL is going to be this application URL where iframe is available. Now, what I want to simply do is I would like to clear this particular text and in place of that, I would like to type my name. So I'll simply right click inspect and see what's happening. So this is the one, this, this one I have to locate. I have to create an uh, locator. Uh, it doesn't have a direct thing. So what I'll do here is I'll take the help of this ID and create an XPath expression. So like there's something like this control F double slash uh, body at the rate ID is equal to and give the ID locator and say slash P. Okay. Copy this. Copy this and here write down driver dot find element. I dot and say ID and say dot clear. I would like to clear the text with the help of clear command in Selenium web driver. Again, I'll just take the same thing and say dot send keys. I would like to type my name. Okay. After clearing the about text, default text, I would like to type my name Arun Motori into that field. Okay. This is what I wanted to do. Let's see whether that will happen or not. Right click run as Java application. You will see that it is not going to happen. Rather, you are going to get an exception. Rather, you are going to Get an exception, guys. Okay, let's just see here what's going to happen. No such element exception kind of exception will come. I'll explain the reason why. Navigate, navigated to the page. Now it has to clear the text and type my name there. Then nothing happened. This text is still there and my name has not been typed. So curiously, if you go and see the output, you will get this exception known as no such element exception. Why you got this exception? I'll tell you the reason. Okay. So here, let me explain you. So what's happening is, let's say, uh, this is your house and uh, this is your friend's house. Let's say, and uh, in your friend's house, there are some rooms like this. Okay. Okay. Like some rooms are there and your friend is available in this room, let's say. Okay. Uh, and here is the entrance for the main uh, house and uh, every room has some entrance, let's say. Okay. And uh, doors are closed, obviously. And you are here. And what you have done is uh, you wanted to meet your friend. So you started here and you traveled and uh, you get into their, uh, your friend's house, but you are not able to find your friend because your friend is not available here. He's inside a room. This room is like an iframe here, okay? Embedded web page, like iframe. So if you try to find your uh, friend outside these rooms, you'll not be able to find, okay? This room is like a web page. And you will not be able to find the element on the web page. Okay, whatever you're trying to, you know, uh, automate, right, uh, handle, right, that is not available on the web page. Rather, you have to walk inside the room where your friend is available. This particular room you have to enter. To this particular frame you have to enter. How to enter into the frame? Then only this element will be visible and these operations will be done. To enter into the frame, we have to locate that frame on the web page. So here, if you see here, and uh, just right click here, inspect, 
somewhere some frame is there okay you can also right click and say frame source and everything is coming and uh, just scroll up and somewhere you will see the iframe and it has an id copy the id of the iframe and uh, simply it's very easy when you have an id for the iframe right it's very easy driver dot switch to dot frame of and here you need to provide the id okay in double quotes provide the id of that iframe that's it after switching to the frame these operations will be done now run this right click run as now to switch to the frame in order to handle the elements on the iframe with uh, embedded web page or iframe you have to switch to that particular frame and then perform the operations available on that particular iframe inside that iframe okay this time the operation will be happened because we have switched to the frame just observe the default content will be cleared on the web page i think it's not gone yet is there any problem still yes still it is a problem no such element exception maybe there is a mistake i have done dot i think i have gave the id right uh, let me check what the mistake I have done uh is there anything other on the top of this sometimes things happen where is that iframe this iframe with the help of id I was able to switch the iframe right copy and uh, driver dot switch to dot frame you see here name or id they are saying clearly and but that is not working or id i give the id is the id of the frame and that should work after switching to the frame it has to work maybe this spot or something is there any problem i don't think so let's try it again sometimes it happens temporary glitch may be there let's see it this time okay it's not working still right it's not working okay very bad mistake i have done this is an xpath expression i am talking about id here okay that is the reason guys okay just make it xpath make it xpath and uh, i'll just comment this out without switching to the frame i have to show because earlier also I used id okay then also you'll get no such element exception okay now you'll get no such element exception because you are not switching to the frame i commented this line here i should be using xpath i was uh, writing id okay by mistake the, i was uh, confused like why it was not working and all but it will work now okay so this time you'll get an exception because uh, we were not switching to the frame the line for switching to the frame is uh, commented out this is not going to work out we'll going to get the exception that is expected now uncomment this line where we are switching to the frame with the help of the id of the frame and then we'll perform the operations on the things this time it is going to work okay sorry for that mistake your id should uh, id should not be there xpass should it be there because this is an xpass expression okay let's take launch this time it will work because we have switched to the iframe and then we are performing the operations on the element uh, inside the iframe so let's switch you see this time it has cleared the text and type my name so it's working fine we didn't get any exception also and there are multiple ways of switching to the frame with the help of id we can id of the frame we can switch or uh, if that particular frame has a name locator we can in place of this id you can give the name locator if that particular frame doesn't have either id or name locator we can create a web element for the frame and pass that web element here any of the ways okay multiple ways are there you see in, in our case uh, we were lucky because uh, you know there was an id for that iframe okay i'll i'll tell you again clearly okay so here you see if you see this iframe there is an id if the id is not there then you will check for name locator if there is any name locator to locate this iframe if id is not there name is not there somehow you have to create an xpath expression or and create a web element okay driver dot find element uh, by dot xpath give the xpath expression for locating this iframe and create a web element and that web element you have to pass here inside the frame without double quotes okay then it will switch okay if id is there fine if uh, id is not there name if name is name and id are not there web element okay that's the way hope you got the idea okay so hope guys uh, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration so that's all for this session thank you bye bye